Welcome back everyone, John Panio here with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at 7 Section 6 Ryo Shu. She's at level 30 up tier 3. Her stats are 128 for health, so she is on the squishier end, and her speed is 3 to 7, so on the faster end, her defense is 28. Resistances are she's ineffective to slash, normal to pierce, and fatal to blunt. Her first skill is slash. It's a 4 base on her coin and plus 6 on coin flip, so you can go up to 10 potentially, and on her first hit on hit inflict 2 rupture. Her second skill is upper slash, it is a 4 base with plus 12 potential for 1 coin flip going up to 16. Skill power plus 2 against units with slash fragility, on clash win gain 1 attack power up next turn, on hit inflict 1 defense level down. Her skill 3 is swash, it's a base of 4 with plus 5 potential with 3 coin flips so it can go up to 19. On clash win this skill inflicts 2 additional slash fragility and on hit inflict 3 slash fragility next turn. Her defense skill is just a regular counter skill, nothing special to worry at home about. Her passive is CIH with 4 gluttony boost slash damage by gluttony resonance divided by 2. Uh, which will equal percent for the term so pretty conditional to get it going but can be resourceful but kind of hard to get four gluttony together her support is icebreaker one ally with the lowest max hp inflicts plus one rupture so you really have to build a team around using a unit with low hp so most likely this will be her Oh no, it won't be her because she'll be on the bench. Most likely, if you're going to be using it, you're probably going to be using units such as Otis or Gregor. But you do have to really work towards making these passive works. Overall, the passive and support, nothing special to write home about. Pretty conditional to get going. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Her kit kind of plays with getting Swash down first. And then you use your second skill, Upper Slash. And that's pretty much your kit. Obviously, the main thing is that her skill 3 inflicts slash fragility so you want to be using her in a slash team so that's what we'll be doing today so let's take her into the dungeon and see what she can do so we are using the team of three star heathcliff three star faust two star honglu and three star sinclair so two star honglu and three star sinclair are going to be the units that we are going to have a lot of slash damage on them so it will synergize a little bit with our Ryoshu. Ryoshu is going to be used to compare to the other characters and we'll see how they do. As usual since this is a human battle I'll try to make it as even as possible by avoiding using extra skills if they do show up. I will be using the strongest skill possible and I'll try Keyword is try to make this as balanced as possible. So the thing about this Ryoshu is that she's got a very not confusing kit, but it's hard to figure out what she really wants to do. Obviously, with this Ryoshu, you really want to be able to pair her up to make it so that she can do a ton of damage with using swash first going into upper slash but as you can see here this will be the combo the swash will apply but it's not going to apply the extra damage effect on clash win because the slash fragility only applies next turn so what you'll see here is that she'll apply her debuff but, oh, maybe she kills. Oh, nope, she kills. Lovely. So, it's one of those weird situations where because her slash fragility only applies next turn, only then will you be able to get extra damage on the enemies. And since we have everyone pretty stacked up, we'll go for it. So now, since Ryoshu has two skills, we'll just have everyone go for it. When it comes to damage, as usual, the faster units are going to have the highest damage output because they get to act first. Now, in a situation like this where we do have her skill here, 
you'll see that she is going to use her first skill, but she's not going to use her bottom skill, which is very strange. So let's adjust that and make it so that we use our bottom skills first, which is our stronger skill. Uh, damage, 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 damage. There we go. Obviously, in human battles, it's going to be a lot harder for you to be able to use the synergy of Ryoshu. I will say that most likely what's going to happen is with the release of 3-star Otis coming out to the game, most likely all the 7 units will be able to pair up properly. Because right now, the 7 units apply slash fragility and pierce fragility so most likely three star otis is going to apply blunt fragility that just means that right now this ryoshu doesn't have a good place she fits in when you take a look at her skill set she wants to be able to use her skill three to be able to apply slash fr slash fragility next turn and then what would happen is you want to have units that have a solid amount of slash skills to be able to wail on the enemy. So I can see her being useful against a boss that is weak to slash. Of course you would have to be in an abnormality battle and you would build a team of mainly slash characters to be able to take advantage of her slash fragility. The only issue is is that right now what you'll probably see at the end of the battle is when it comes to damage even though she can apply the slash fragility, there's just units that can do the same amount of damage that she can apply with slash fragility just on their own. A prime example is 3 star Heathcliff and 3 star Faust. Those units just do tons of damage with their kit regardless of whether or not the enemy has slash fragility. And we'll take a look at the damage numbers and you'll be able to see that it's not going to be as high as you think it is so as you can see faust most damage and when you take a look to the bottom ryoshu kind of the bottom of the pack as you can see even with the addition of applying slash fragility these other units just constantly pump out stronger damage than her I will say that 2 star Ryoshu here does definitely have a place in the game eventually. It's just that right now there's no content that really requires her to be used. The only time you really want to use her is if there's a content where there's an abnormality battle where either A, the boss is immune to slash and you have to do a DPS check and really take advantage of slash fragility. But at the moment, currently, there's no content in the game that really requires you to have to apply slash fragility to the enemy to be able to complete this stage. With that being said, obviously with the release of Abyss Dungeon or Railway Extraction coming into the game in the near future, there might be potential where this character can shine. I would say right now I would rate her between B to C tier. She doesn't do a lot of damage. She is a little bit fast, but as a standalone unit, she doesn't really have a home where she belongs to. She gets outshined by other characters that can do her role better if it comes to damage, and there really isn't any content that really requires slash fragility to be applied for you to be able to clear content. If you guys have her on her your team, let me know what you guys think about her. Honestly, I think she's okay as a character, but nothing that really shines outside of having the slash fragility debuff. As usual, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Do you have her? Do you use her? Do you think she's awesome? I think she's okay, but outside of that, not a character that I would use really ever currently with the content that we have. I stream Monday to Friday on Twitch and there's a good bump in Discord community that we have, so make sure you guys join that because we talk about all things Limbus as well as other gacha games. As usual, John Panio signing out. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.